Hello friends, I'm Akash Shrop and welcome to Akash Biology. In today's lectures, we will be dealing about the classes of polyferons. In the previous video, we have talked about the various canal systems and the very general characteristics of prolifera. So this video will be confined about the classes of prolifera. So taking no more time going on to the topic, that the prolifera is mainly divided into three classes. So first of all, that is Chalky spongy. Second one is hexactylene leader. Hexactylene leader. And third one is demo spongy. What? Demo spongy. So there are the three classes of the polyphyllus. That is the calci spongy. Second one, hexactylene leader which also known as hollow spongy and third one is the demo spongy now we will be dealing about the individual characters so we will compare over here about general characteristics so the skeleton in the case of calc spongy the skeleton is made of a calcareous calcareous spicules what calcareous spicules in the case of hexactimida it is made up of six red Silicious spicules. Whereas in demo spongy, the skeleton is a combination of both calcareous as well as silicious skeletons. So it is made up of one to four rate silicious spicules, spicules or sponging fibers or both. So here are the three things that we can differentiate calcareous, silicious and the combination of both now coming on to the quanocyte cells the quanocyte cells over here are large but quanocyte are large in both the, these they are a small what? A small now third one coming on to the habitat what? habitat in the case of the calci spongy they are all marine what all marine they are all marines and found in solo waters what found in solo waters whereas in hexagonida they are also marine but found in deep waters they are also marine but found in deep water what deep water so it is found in shallow water it is found in deep water now coming on to the demo spongy in the case of demo spongy, they are found in shallow sea water as well as in fresh water. Fresh water as well. So it is a combination of both. It is found in shallow sea water as well in fresh water. So these are now coming on to the again other characteristics. So these are the three. Now coming on to we will compare and then we so now the fourth one now coming on to the symmetry what symmetry on the body organizations here body is radially symmetrical body radially symmetrical i have told you the meaning in my previous video what is radially symmetrical on the pori the video on porifera and body is what and body measures up to body is radially symmetrical and body measures up to the 10 am 10 cm in height in height now it consists of two classes homocela and heterocela so we don't have to go in detail what is homocela and what is heterocela but we have to know about where body wall is thin and where body wall is thick so body wall is thin in body wall is thin in homocela and thick in heteroceola so these are the things now here the body is also again the body is what vase like and radially symmetrical what vase like and radially symmetrical symmetrical whereas the demo sponge is asymmetrical what asymmetrical 
So each body is cannot be divided into any two halves by any two planes. And the body is massively enlarged. What? Massively enlarged. Now we are dealing about the various. What? So we can review this with a quick recap review. Calcareous sponginess, calcareous, calcareous skeleton, siliceous combination of both, marine and found in deep water, marine and found in shallow water, marine found in deep water, may be found both in shallow marine water as well in fresh water. Quanocytes are large, quanocytes are small, small. Similarly, body organs are radial symmetrical, radial symmetrical, this is asymmetrical. Now we will be dealing with all the various examples. So in temple is the Skypha. Skypha, that is the Sycon. Second example is the Leucosolenia and Grantia. What? Grantia. Whereas in Hexatin Lida, the examples are Euclectella and Halonema. And in Demo Spongy, the examples are what? Rue Spongia, Kalina. Similarly, Pleona and Espongila, what? Espongila. So this is all about the what? There's classes spongy. Now we are dealing about some three or four nicknames of sponges, the important sponges and their important characteristics. They might be asked in the entrance examinations. So first of all, we will be dealing about what? What? Leucosolenia. What? Leucosolenia. Leucosolenia is the smallest oriferon or the smallest sponge. Leucosolenia. Solenia. That is the smallest. Smallest. First point to be noted. Now, second word about what? Skypha. Skypha. So, what is the nickname of sponge? Skypha is Sycom. Or on sponge or the crown sponge. What crown sponge? So in exams may be asked which one the following is known as crown sponge or on sponge. It is what a skypha. Now third one is the Euplectella. What Euplectella? This is most common asked. That is the Venus flower basket. So now we are dealing with some of the important pictures of the Euclectella. So what happens? It is mainly found in <coughs> the its surface contains what? It's so it has an osculum. What osculum? So osculum contains what? Some of the features that you have to mark up. So osculum contains C plate. What? C plates. And what is C plate? It is a combination of fused spicules. What is spicules? So maybe asked where in which small sieve tube is found. The sieve tube is found in Euplectella. That is a combination of fused spicules. And the surface contains what parietal gaps? What? Parietal gaps. And <coughs> um, this sponge is dried, this sponge is dried and given as a marriage gift in Japan. What? Gift is a marriage gift in Japan because it contains shrimp hair. What? Shrimp hair. Sponge encloses a shrimp hair. So this sponge is dried and clean and given as a gift in Japan because it encloses shrimp hair. And what is the meaning of the shrimp hair means? The life will live till death. So both will be combined till death. So Euclectla is given a marriage gift in Japan as it contains shrimp hair because the dried Euclectla encloses shrimp hair. So this is about Euclectella. Now moving on to the past. The fourth one is the Hylonema. What? Hylonema. That is the glass rope sponge. Now then what is the Poterion, what? Poterion. Poterion. That is Neptune's cup. Neptune's cup. Now, again, one is the 
Esponja. What? U Esponja. Esponja. That is the bath sponge. What? Bath sponge. Bath sponge. So, <coughs> conus. So it contains the conus of the sponge in threads. What? It contains conus of the sponge in threads, and it is what. Also known as bath sponge because it dried, cleaned, and used for uh, and used for various purposes. Now the U.S. sponge is two types. What Mediterranean and the Turkish. So which one the following is Mediterranean? Is the U.S. sponge mollisma. U.S. sponge mollisma is Mediterranean sponge, and U.S. sponge officinalis is. Turkish sponge, what? Turkish bath sponge. And the what is the uh, commercial sponge? It is cleaned, dried. It is what? Dried, cleaned, treated, and bleached sponge skeleton. Dried, cleaned, and bleached sponging skeleton. So, U.S. spongia and the, what is the commercial sponge? So commercial sponge is obtained from the U.S. spongia and it is actually what dried, cleaned, bleached sponge in fibers. Then organ one is the hypo sponge. What? Hypo spongia. It is what horse sponge. What horse sponge? Now we are on the last thing. So which one the following is known as what? So what is Kalina? So Kalina is known as dead man's finger. What? Dead man's finger or mom's glove. And mom it gloves. Now coming on to the last. That is the spongia. What? Spondyla. So spongula is known as fresh water sponge. What fresh water sponge? And it is green in color due to the symbiotic association of zoo chlorella. May be asked in the ignorance examinations. Now cleona. Cleona is boring sponge. Boring sponge means it it makes hole in anything. So that's why it kills. Oyster, what? Oyster. It kills oyster. So it is harmful to the oyster industry or pearl industry because cleona will bore the hole in the oyster. And lastly, which on the following is largest sponge is the S. Piclo spongia is the largest sponge. And which one is the ancestral sponge? That is the Olynthus. So Olynthus is the ancestor of all sponges. Um, this all is about the classes of Porifera and um, various important Porifera's. I might have seen uh, most times my note because I forget to remember all the names. And I hope you have understood this. And if this video is helpful to you, then please like and for more videos. Tap the subscribe button. Stay tuned and continue with Akash Thank you.